let's briefly talk, well, more than briefly, let's talk about the present. Maybe that's what you're waiting for? I'm not sure. No? Q &A. Q &A. Q &A. Q &A. Q &A. Q&A. Q&A, all right. That's the future. That's the future. <laughs> all right, so let me tell you guys some stuff first about what we're doing right now. So, um, Dan, you want to chat briefly about Tokyo Pop Fire by the all right, guys, I'll keep it brief. Uh, so I know you probably wake up every morning with a cold, empty feeling in your stomach, and that feeling is shaped a lot like a daily newsletter that you could get in your inbox. <laughs> I know you're, you wake up and you're like, wow, this morning's great. This cup of coffee really hits the spot. This raisin brand, perfect. But where can I get all the latest and greatest in anime, manga, Asian pop culture in one convenient place? Canon. Well... <laughs> shortly after this one, so please stick around. Um, well, Anna is a very well-respected news source, I prefer to get my news from the Tokyo Pop Newsletter powered by Nerdist. Yeah. And before Gertie Rock's Kenneth Parcel, haters to the left. So pretty much, basically, it's a free newsletter. You can sign up and we give you all the, we try to give you a nice mix of film, fashion, anime, manga, um, all, like films from uh, all over the, all over the uh, sort of Asian hemisphere. Things like, uh, did anyone see The Raid Redemption? Yeah! Oh man! Yeah. If you haven't seen it, it is seriously badass. So much punching and so many guns. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also, we have so many giveaways, you guys, from companies like Kudabukiya. We have giveaways from new people, and the problem is, I can't enter these. So please, enter these contests and win things that I can't. Let me live vicariously through your experience. <laughs> and I promise we will never spam you unless I come across some art in the shape of Doraemon that is made out of spam, in which case you probably want to see it. <laughs> so you can sign up for it on NerdistNews.com. That's HTTP colon slash slash www.NerdistNews.com. Thank you, Dan. And if you go to our Facebook, you can see many versions of your favorite po Pokemon that's um, Pokemon-shaped cookies. Oh, we got lots of cookies. Thank you, though. Thank you. So, next, we're currently moving into print-on-demand e-books to put out a few of the books, um, the ones that we can put out. And to briefly explain the print-on-demand program, Allison. Hi there, guys. Um, how many Italian fans do we have here? <laughs> All right. Um, how many uh, Bizzle Gas fans? <laughs> hey. All right. Well, um, as you may or may not know, um, Right Stuff has teamed up with Tokyo Pop and Fantosia, and um, together we're all putting out uh, Italia Volume 3, which you see right in front of you, physical form, the actual book. Um, so you can get it for the first time ever in print. Um, also, we're doing some for BusyGast, and yesterday uh, at our panel, we announced that we're going to be putting out Volume 3 of SciComm. So that's something that we're really excited about. And the whole impetus of what kind of got the Print on Demand program started, we hate when you can't get the manga that you want to buy through writestuff.com, because that's the way my boss is. We want you to be able to buy stuff from us. And um, one of the things that people have been asking about are missing volumes in the middle of series, which is something we're also working on. But then also, hey, where's the next volume of Italia? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And that's one of the things that kind of sort of is this for getting this going. So um, if you are interested in any of these three, you know, three series, and there are other series that you would like to see out there, please support them. Or if they're not series that you're following, encourage your friends who do follow those series to please, please, please go ahead and order them because it you know, sends a very important message to our Japanese licensors and to other people that we would like to work with that, hey, this is something that's viable and you guys want it and you'll support it and you'll buy it. So that's what we're looking at. So definitely check those out. Natalia, please check out the will be available later this month. Now, or later next month, tomorrow's the first. So later next month. And then uh, we'll have some news on SciComm 3's availability very, very soon. Awesome. Thanks, Now, Danielle is going to speak briefly about Italian and the first stuff, but before, I want to say one brief thing. So we put out one, two, and three, the third one being right here, and there are a couple other Italians. So there's Italian four, 
And in a week, we no, in a month in Japan, there will be Natalia five. That's what that's the ad for it, right there. So I just got confirmation literally yesterday in the mail, in the email, in the mail. I got this letter. <laughs> <laughs> the letter arrived, it was so bizarre. <laughs> From Gintosha, who said, guess what? Four and five will also come out here. So if you are a fan of Natalia, now we don't know the details yet. We're talking to Gintosha to find out exactly will it be exactly the same or not in terms of uh, you know, the way we're doing it. But they said for sure 100% both of those will come out. Hopefully soon. So, are you guys happy about that? Be happy! Good job! So with that in mind, do you want to talk a little bit about Valerie and Visit Guest? Um, well, I haven't worked on Visit Guest, but I, I love it to death. I've been following it since volume one. Um, I have worked on all the currently published volumes of Natalia. Um, so I'm, I'm actually a huge fan of the series. Woo! Incredibly excited that I get to work on more. I just found that out today. <laughs> and I've been dying to see Italian 3 come out in print because I did that work in 2003. I was the script editor. Not 2003. Oh no, I'm sorry, 2010. <laughs> she, she, she's not only, she not only turns in her work in, in advance of her deadline, she turns it way in advance of her deadline. Years before it was created. <laughs> I would love a TARDIS if you could hook me up. <laughs> um, and as a script editor, I the process is basically just you know making sure everything is kosher with you know the script and that the fonts are the fonts that they're supposed to be and the grammar is what it's supposed to be. But I also fact check every single thing in Italia. And if you've read the manga. They reference events like no other. So I think uh, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna pass it back on because, unless you want me to do trivia now? No. 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 You we'll wait till after. We'll wait till after. 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 The end. It's the only way to get So then the other thing is ebook. So we're just prepping the files right now, but it, it's probably gonna be a couple more weeks and then we'll be able to have like Kindle versions and Nook versions and, you know iPhone versions and that sort of stuff. Through graphically, we'll be our partners on that.